In this video, I am continuing my series of DIY assistive technology. And today we're gonna to talk about how you can use a very inexpensive adapter to turn your smartphone into a desktop digital magnifier. Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life. In a previous video, I showed you guys how you could connect a smartphone or a webcam to your computer and create a desktop digital magnifier or a CCTV. Now, in that video, the setup worked great, but you needed special software to get it to work properly. And I was thinking there's got to be a way we can do this where you don't need a computer. It could be portable. You could take it on vacation, just plug it up to the hotel TV and have the digital magnification that you need. And so I started looking at using adapters. Now I chose an adapter from a company named Chotech, Kotech. I'm not entirely sure how it's pronounced. This is the adapter I'm using for my Android phone, but I wanna stress that this setup could be used with any smartphone or tablet. You just need to find the right adapter for your particular device. Search on Amazon, a quick search on Amazon will give you dozens of adapter ideas. There's tons out there. You can probably even find your adapter from uh, Chotech, Kotech, <laughs> this company. They sell tons of different adapters and wireless chargers and things like that. Okay, I'll tell you more about what I've done here. So in order to get the widescreen effect here, I'm using the WeZoom app on my Android phone. I made a video about WeZoom once before. It's a digital magnifier application, a free application. And it's a fantastic application. It's probably my favorite digital magnifier app. I'll have a link in the description to where you can find it on the Play Store. I'll also link the video review I did of the app as well. This app also has a ton of features. I can pinch to zoom. I can also do just one finger sliding up and down to zoom. This app has multiple colors, color contrast, black and white, yellow and black, blue and white. A lot of the colors that we're pretty familiar with, with modern day CCTVs, digital magnifiers. You can also take a quick snapshot or a freeze frame of the image and then zoom in, which is gonna be great if you're trying to hold something underneath the camera and you're just shaking around too much. You can quickly snap a picture and that image will be rock steady. You've got lots of options for holding the phone. I am currently using some of ModularHose.com's newest products. This is part of their MoGo product line, and this is their Modular Metal Stand. It's a fully articulating stand. I'm also using their cell phone holder, which has the quick clip attachments. I'm gonna do a whole video about ModularHose.com's newest products, newest gadgets, really, really cool stuff. Stay tuned to next week's video to learn more about that. But you can use literally anything. You could even use a little desktop tripod. I've got one of these Gorilla Pods here with a cell phone adapter on top or cell phone holder. This would work fine as well. And finally, the adapter I'm using once again is this USB-C to HDMI adapter from Kotex, Chotex. Kotex. <laughs> Kotex actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check out this adapter and I thought of instantly thought of this setup and how this could be really helpful for us in the community. Now I do want to say that even though they sent this adapter to me for free to keep, uh, it's not influencing me at all. Everything I tell you about the adapter and how well it works is my own honest opinions. And really, it works great. I mean, it's, it's not a complicated device. As soon as you plug it in, it shows up on the screen. You don't have to do anything. You may have to turn on a setting or something in your smartphone, but other than that, it works. One of the best parts, less than $25 for this adapter, and they even have cheaper ones. This particular one has a couple extra ports on it. It has a USB-A port, a USB Type-C port, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. If you're looking for just HDMI ports, they have even more inexpensive ones, less than $15. This also will work with uh, the modern iPad Pros that are using USB Type-C, as well as modern MacBooks. 
But as I mentioned before, if you have an older legacy device, maybe using micro USB, there are tons of adapters for that as well. You just want to make sure to get an adapter that will allow you to plug HDMI into it because that's how you plug it into the TV. And that is it guys, that's all you need. This is super easy to set up. It's portable, once again, you can take it with you on vacation, you're going to grandma's house for the summer. <laughs> now, what are the limitations? I will say there are a couple cons. It's not all pros. Um, you're using a cell phone for a digital magnifier. And, and as I always say, cell phones, because they can do a lot of things really well, they can't do any one thing perfectly. Uh, not like a device that's built specifically for that purpose. If you put this cell phone up against a CCTV, the CCTV is going to have better quality, uh, better focusing, all of that, of course, because it's built specifically for that. However, if you don't want to pay $3,000 <laughs> for a CCTV, this is a fantastic option and will definitely get the job done. Okay guys, I will have links to all of this stuff in the description down below. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications because I put out a new video every single week. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this setup? Do you think this could be a good option for you? And that is it for me guys. Once again, thank you very much. Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.